All right, it has been quite a long while since I last got to make a video like this. More so from a lack of getting the right system or equipment to record these kind of videos, at least with audio. So anyways, so this is just another one of my videos showcasing another uh, play style you can make using a certain type of build. So for this one, it'll be the Namekian Zoner. Only unlike when I did the Majin Zoner, and of course this can work with any build, but this is for anyone who, went, who wants to make the zoning type specifically with a Namekian. Even though as far as with the zoning type, since the whole point is to keep your opponent at bay, then as far as any race advantage, you probably want to go with the, with the Majins or the Saiyans as far as how much damage they can get per key blast. And unlike the Majin Zoner, which had a whole bunch of beam attacks, this one consisting of individual projectiles. So for this, I'll be using Gigantic Omega. Like, yeah, it's part of the strike skills, but still, it's the fact that it throws out a projectile. Anyways. Blaster shell for multiple projectiles at once. Especially since if you rapidly press the button, as it says, time the button presses to fire in succession rapidly. And there's really no timing to it, but I'll get to that in a moment. And lastly, power shell. And maximum charge because you are going to be using up a lot of key. And for ultimates. I have Crusher Volcano and Grand Smasher. And as far as the uh, zoning type, probably best to just go with Potential Unleash if you're not using a Saiyan. So that way, since Kaioken uses up your stamina, so just become giant. So for QQ Bane. Usually when I do these uh, character types, I would recommend a level 6 type, so that way you can get the maximum key that you need. Or you can, you, you can use one that's also level 5, have a lot of health, stamina, and key blast supers. But I believe I'll, yeah, I'll just go with this one. And for Super Soul, power, a lot of power. It's great. Which allows you to have up to 10 bars since it increases the maximum amount of key and the maximum amount of stamina. Greetings. So, time to head into training mode. Alright, so let's change up the settings. So first we'll start with Gigantic Omega. Now the problem is with Gigantic Omega, it can be comboed into, but I found it a lot easier to combo into as the male earthling. Can't really combo into it as well without a stamina break with the Namekian. <laughs> But still, it has the advantage of being a, uh, oh yeah, advancing, that's what I'm looking for, an advancing strike going right towards the opponent. And the cool thing is that even if the initial hit doesn't connect, it still hits the opponent with the projectile. It doesn't, uh, it's not a homing attack, but still, in case the enemy flies directly away from you, or even if they're advancing towards you, you can bust this out because it comes out. It's not like instant, but it comes out quick enough to where you can kind of surprise them. 
So you usually use some kind of combo to hit them with. Or again, if they come advancing towards you, you can press this down and hit them with it. Then there's Blaster Shell. This one does home in on the opponent. And it's five key blasts. So that's five projectiles they're gonna have to try to avoid. And that's really about it. You can all, you can either just let them go out slowly. Press the button. Kind of go back and forth between them as a way to throw them off, throw them off their timing. And lastly, Power Shell. Pretty good amount of damage. And yeah, it's only one projectile, but again, it goes pretty quickly. So between between this Blaster Shell and Gigantic Omega, so you have one projectile that advances. And you can hit the opponent with a physical card to get extra damage. Blaster shell for multiple projectiles. And you can switch up the speed at which the projectiles come out. But it does leave you vulnerable if the opponent manages to get around you or if another one manages to get behind you while you're distracted with another target. That's a good thing about having blaster shell. Just that one projectile, just throw it out, be done with it. And say for instance you're in the middle of a combo, you can just press back hit any target that gets around you. Also you can do it while getting hit too. So basically like a secondary stamina. Right? Of course, don't do it when they're hanging behind you. But when you do it and you get up closely, it sends out a little uh, energy field to knock back into your uh, nearby targets. Yeah, from what I've seen, you cannot turn around. Oh yeah, yeah you can. Just don't get too trigger happy using the stamina break version. Cause that will, that, that uses up three bars, so you want to be careful with that. Speaking of which, another stamina attack is super explosive wave. Sends the opponent flying. So that way if you hit them with it, give you a distance so you can go into your zoning phase. Although the QQ bang that I gave him, it was a QQ bang. Was I thinking of something else? Well, anyways, the one that gives you that can give you all ten bars combined with the right QQ bang. Unfortunately, it only gives you that one that one powerful Q blast. I get it's pretty quick, but the one key blast in which they fire out multi, a whole barrage. That's like the best one, especially for zoning with key blasts without using any of your meter. So for ultimate, yeah, like any ultimate that allows you to fire off multiple projectiles pretty quickly as opposed to using a beam would be a good choice. But for this one in particular, I chose Grand Smasher. <laughs> Yeah, a, lot of, a good amount of damage on its own, doesn't take too long to fire, so with the right stamina break combo, you can combo into it. Don't think I'm not that good for it. Nope, unfortunately. So if your opponent is distracted by another target, or if you do hit him with a stamina break, Ten thousand. But 
another cool thing is how if you're willing to use four bars, you do even more damage. But the regular one did around 7,000, that was about 8,000. So about a thousand points more. And vo uh, Crusher Volcano. Only 6,000, but it's multiple projectiles, so again, if they're distracted by another target, or if you hit them with a stamina break combo, or if you got them a good distance, and they're not looking to get in right away, you can hit them with that. Although, if I remember, as far as uh, ultimate attacks that are just multiple projectiles, there's not a whole lot of them in this game. I believe Crusher Volcano is one of the few that does that. But for this one, each projectile does have a specific purpose that works well. So combine all of that with a particular leaf. Or Kaioken, if you want to use that, but again, it's risky because you want to save your you, you want to save your stamina for when you have to use something like Super Explosive Wave or even Power Shell to break out of an opponent's combo. So that's why I would rather go with Potential Unleash, unless you're a Saiyan, in which case you gotta go with whatever Super Saiyan transformation. Though I would not recommend if you're using a Super Saiyan transformation for a zoner variation I would not recommend Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan Blue Evolve because they just eat up your meter so fast where a Super Saiyan God it doesn't eat up your meter but it doesn't really do anything for your key it's supposed to um, it, it amplifies your strike attacks so that's more if you want to use a, a rush down so Super Saiyan Super Vegeta and I, I don't know about, about future Super Saiyan, but basically Super Saiyan and Super Vegeta, and Super Vegeta 2 I would recommend for a Super Saiyan zoning type. But if you don't want to use any of those, then for all, any character class, or for any non-Saiyans, then Potential Unleash would be the transformation you want to go with. So that's going to be that for this video. I'm going to keep on making more of these types. And hopefully I can get some of my friends to collaborate with me on making these type of videos so they can add their input as well. Do a little cross-referencing. But that's all for now. So I'll see you all on the next guide. And y'all have a good day.